Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve this multi-step equation. Um, and to do that, what we want to do is get rid of the parentheses. So to get rid of the parentheses, we got to make sure we apply the distributive property because um, really, I don't think I need a reason for the parentheses here, but they can see it's c plus 3. But really, there's nothing multiplying by it, so I can just kind of eliminate that. Um, here, though, we see minus the parentheses. And a lot of times, students say, oh, well, I don't need to worry about parentheses there either. But if I just got rid of the parentheses, that would just be minus 1 minus 3c. But that's not what that, that's not what that represents. This represents really a negative 1 times 1 times negative 3. So I got to make sure I apply distributive property. And I can just rewrite now this left side without the c plus um, 3 in parentheses. So I'll just write c plus 3 minus 2c. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 3c is a positive 3c equals 2. Now you can see I have three c's, right? But to solve an equation, I only need one. So I can combine them um, together. And when I'm combining, a lot of times I like to go the extra step because I was just like you and making a lot of mistakes. And even when I make videos, I still make mistakes. Um, so to help myself out, I rewrite it with all the variables next to each other. And you don't do that. I mean, you don't have to do that. You can just you know, group them. And a lot of you will just be lazy enough like I was and just do it in your head. Um, but that's where a lot of mistakes will come in as well. So you just got to be careful. So therefore, I write the 3 and the negative 1 at the end equals 2. So now you can see this is c minus 2c, which would be negative c, plus 3c. So my final combination of these all together is 2c. 3 minus 1 is going to be 2. Um, two, 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 plus 2 equals 2. So now, to go ahead and solve, I can subtract a 2 on both sides. And therefore, I get 2c equals 0. Then, to solve for 2, well, 2 times any number equals 0, that c has to equal 0. But anyways, I can divide by 2 and just say c equals 0. Um, let me just make sure I did that correctly, right? Positive 3c, negative 1. There we go. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve your multi-step equation with multiple parentheses. Thanks.